a year ago, we, we wouldn't have imagined that we would be here today, right? That we'd be meeting digitally. Uh, transhumanism is the ethical use of technology to expand human abilities. Yeah. And thanks to technology, we are all together at a safe social distance. So as um, the vision of the MTA is that as technology accelerates cultural upheaval, Mormon transhumanists champion prophetic visions of human potential. As of a few days ago, our membership included 954 Mormon transhumanists. Currently, our uh, MTA board of directors include Ben Blair, the president, me, Connie Packer, the vice president, Lincoln Cannon, Blair Osler, Pace Ellsworth, Caleb Jones, Leonard Real, and Wendy Smith. April 1st is the beginning of the election process for three open positions in the board of directors. Uh, the directors conduct, conduct the activities and affairs of the association during a three-year term. The election process begins with nominations, and then there's a period of Q&A and discussion, and then voting is performed by voting members. So I encourage you all to become voting members before the election process. So do that like in the next couple days so that we can um, get a good list of who's eligible to vote and begin that election process. Last year, uh, through Kiva Microloans, the MTA members have helped fund 427 loans. Almost $2,500 were donated last year, and since 2013, members have donated $13,200. Members are also part of other organizations that strive to lift people, improve their conditions, and help them reach their goals. As we have, as a, a, a board of directors, have assessed our strengths and capabilities, we have started focusing our efforts on publishing quality thoughts on transhumanism and Mormon transhumanism. An MTA Brock, uh, sorry, an MTA podcast is being prepared for release. Blair Osler has started recording the first episodes. Other publications will be announced in coming months, so stay tuned. If you have an idea for a publication, um, sorry, let me catch this up now. If you have an idea for a publication, we please share it. We want to hear that idea. If you have a recommendation for making an existing publication more accessible or more usable somehow, more user-friendly, please let us know. At this time, most donations will be used to produce content using a variety of media. Um, we're looking at video, audio, different things. So uh, we're welcome to suggestions and funding for it. Mormon transhumanism embraces science and religion to work toward becoming gods and enhancing the human condition. A year ago, even a few months ago, we wouldn't have imagined we'd be meeting virtually today. We are using a new platform and a welcome people who may not have been able to attend in the first place. They may have been able to watch over the internet, but they wouldn't have been able to interact like we are today. The opportunities have been unexpected, but they have pushed us out of our comfortable boxes. 2020 has um, this 2020 so far has made us pivot and use technologies we wouldn't have in the past. And this will be a year to explore new ways to share a message and inspire a better future. And um, I will go ahead and introduce Catherine Knight Sontag. She received a Master of Landscape and Architecture and Environmental Planning from Utah State University and works as a land planner and writer in Salt Lake City. Her passion for writing about the transcendent in the land began as a child and continues to shape her writing, including her first collection of poetry, The Tree at the Center. Her poetry and pose have appeared in Shades, the University of Utah's literary magazine, Wilderness Interface Zone, Young Ravens Literary Review, Exponent 2, Sagola, Psaltry and Lyre, and Dialogue, a Journal of Mormon Class. 